what's up? We're live. Live and direct. At least, least, oh, we're live now. Yes, we are live. Hi there. It's Timmy Joe. I'm hoping it looks all good. And uh, we're doing an NVIDIA live stream today. And I'm hoping everything's going to work out just fine here. That's what I'm hoping. How are you doing, guys? It's uh, new graphics card time. And that's not something that happens that often. And I think that this is going to be wildly pretentious on NVIDIA's part and we'll have to see how it all works out because um, 500 watt TDP cooler this giant I don't know man how's it going everybody I'm hoping that uh, we get a better hey 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 yeah does it look good I need to know audio is working good I need to know video is working good we got nine minutes and 52 seconds left afternoon bad soup to kook 72 uh fk cosmetic drew gaming no one's boss is gonna be wanna be uh seth inman cosmic drew i already said your name gaming yeah lots of people in the stream like pretty cool concurrent viewers 34 <laughs> it's different than whatever so um i thought we could do if everything sounds good, looks good, all good, everything is good. Jimmy Toe, okay, that's good to know. So, um, what are we expecting from NVIDIA today? Uh, 1400 to $2,000 flagship cards, um, lots of power consumption, new power connectors, weird reference models. I don't know. It's going to be quite an experience, I think, here. I hope we see some graphics cards come out of some ovens. Uh, maybe, maybe even a fridge, maybe, maybe it needs a fridge. Maybe it needs a deep freezer. Who knows? Jensen will no doubt, uh, definitely come to our aid and he'll do things like, uh, this he'll say, it just works guys. It just works. He'll say, oh, there we go. I need to do this first. It just works guys. So I thought we could review some funny RTX memes in the last 10 minutes we have here before the stream starts. Uh, <laughs> hello. I shit myself. Agabagabag. He shit himself. That's weird. Uh, 341 now. Thanks, guys. This is awesome. Um, so uh, here's Jensen in his famous quote from last year. It just works. How has RTX fared out? What is there like maybe 10 games that work with it now? If you count Minecraft and Quake? Um, it's a cool feature. It shouldn't have been a flagship feature, I don't think. I think that was a little silly on their part. But it did start a technology trend that... We'll see if, you know, like hair works and stuff like that keeps going. Physics, stuff like that. Uh, but I have some funny memes here. We don't have much time. We, I want to get through here. So uh, first one here, RTX off, RTX on. Oh, no, sorry. Jensen slaps the roof of the RTX. This bad boy can only fit so much fucking reflections in it. <laughs> it just works. Just so many fucking reflections in this car ad. I love it. Uh, but the next one here, this is where RTX on and off gets going. <laughs> That's the creepiest Patrick Star I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, yeah, RTX was really kind of bad. Yeah, that's kind of been the, 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 the deal here. R9380 gang says Aaron uh, Balasan. I went up too quickly. Lots of people in the stream. Sweet. Um, so here's Patrick Star in RTX. <laughs> The stuff that haunts your dreams. Uh, next meme. Here's um, <laughs> The Witcher. <laughs> There's that board. Uh, and that's the, what the board looks like with RTX on. That's a good one. Uh, next one. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the kid from Up. It turns out the whole time you turn RTX on, you got a dictator on your hands. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to cry now. Move on. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. RTX off, you got money. RTX on, file for bankruptcy. <laughs> Thought that was, uh, that made me laugh. Next one. <laughs> Pikachu. Yep, Pikachu. Wait, this next Pokemon one really made me laugh. Blastoise. <laughs> RTX off, RTX on. Uh, and he's shooting his little water cannons. That just looks great. That's awesome. Um, next one. Pointy boobs, RTX off. Part pointy boobs, RTX on. <laughs> I, I love this girl for doing this. This is awesome. I wonder if her boyfriend made her do it. Uh, next one. 
RTX off. Might be Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. RTX on. You've got a, a donkey. Donkey. You're like onion layers. <laughs> I didn't know that those were the same actors, but apparently they are. You can't have a GTU, GPU shortage if no one can afford them. That's NVIDIA's fucking motto, man. That is a really good meme. I really, really... Five dollars! Woo! Jitter, what's up, dude? Fourteen hundred dollar. It's way much... Too much for a card, yes. Considering I just watched uh, Hardware Unbox talk about flagship cards and the 980 started at $650. That, that's a long time ago. And there's me. And uh, yeah, so let's switch over. We've got four minutes left. And I'm just hoping that the audio comes through on the Twitch stream properly. So let's talk to you peeps. Talk to you peeps. We'll put me in the... Oh, we don't want to move that. We want to move this. Here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I was fine in the corner where I was, wasn't I? Put Timmy in the corner. I was thinking I gotta move over here now. There we go. So, how you doing guys? RTX 3090. How's it gonna hang? It's going to it's definitely gotta be like twice as fast as an RTX 2080 Ti. Or what are we doing here? Or at least like whatever, 60-70% as the you know, faster i don't know i'm i'm just picturing my my pocketbook getting into um here we'll put it back to this one because it just makes sense there we go that one it's gonna be like that for sure so uh here talk to me another meme please well we got three minutes left and i assume it should start soon i want to make sure the audio works but uh i ran out of memes i'm sorry i only loaded you know, the first page of Google results for RTX memes. Oh, and I'm getting a text message. What's my text message? Oh, my kid made a Minecraft sword out of Melty Beads. That's, that's what he did. You want to see? Huh? Whoop, 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 whoop. Oh, trying to make it bigger. I'm really good at streaming, by the way. So there he is. Those are little beads you put on a little grid and then you melt them with uh, an iron and he made a Minecraft sword. My kid is growing up like crazy. I'm absolutely astonished. I better reply to mama. He's home before he goes back to school next week. So hopefully that works out. Uh, looks great. Loves. There we go. Two minutes and 50 seconds. At least it will save central heating costs this winter. Yeah. At least it will, right? Um, I think that's a really silly... I, I cannot believe the rumored TDP on this card. It's, it's insane to see the difference in size between the cards. It's just... Uh, it's ridiculous. Like, if we go here and I just... Uh, RTX versus oh wait 3090 i'm good at typing today versus 2080 ti someone must have posted that there we go like what is with this open image in new tab there we go oh that's a really good picture <laughs> if it's gonna be that much bigger i can't i this must be some sort of optical illusion or something right like that's ridiculous is that the best picture i can find Apparently. Anyways, so let's get back to the Twitch stream. One minute and 50 seconds before the card comes out of the the fridge? The card will come out of uh, Elon Musk's ass. I don't know. It'll come out of something, I'm sure. 787 people watching me clamor on. Well, you have only one minute left till we're watching this NVIDIA event together. <laughs> 21 days, 21 years before we enter the future, join us to celebrate the biggest breakthroughs in PC gaming since 1999 and what comes next. Whew. I'm I'm absolutely stunned. I'm going to have so much fun here. Dawid, you can't give me money. You don't have any Canadian money. You probably do. I'm just kidding. You make more money than me. Can't wait for the RTX 30, 3090. <laughs> Brian Rich, how's it going, Brian Rich? I guess the point of the price hike is the price most folks out of the market 
for top tier card in order to push more people into buying future service for off-site graphics processing. That's a good way of thinking about it. Uh, 191 Desperado says 2090 funding for you, bud. Thanks, buddy. And we got lots of them. Love the channel, brother. I'm waiting for Navi. Where is Big Navi? Would have made a well. Here's my prediction. We will see these launch, be a 3080 and 3090 only, with the promise of a 3070 in the next month or two. And maybe the 3070 gets launched today, but uh, when Big Navi comes out, everyone will have bought the 3090 at 1400 to $2,000. And then when Big Navi comes out and it's as fast as the 3080, they'll bump down. Oh, here we go. They'll bump down the price to like $1,200 and release a uh, 3080 Ti that has the same amount of CUDA cores, just less uh, RAM. That's what's gonna happen. As soon as Navi's out, 3080 Ti, less RAM, same CUDA cores as the 3090, at like $500 less. Oh, look it, Virtua Fighter. Sweet. We're, we're here. We're queer. We're not actually queer, that's not nice to say. Uh, there we go. Woo, World of Warcraft, yeah, NVIDIA graphics. <laughs> Oh, remember that demo? Remember that crisis? Thickness incoming from Chris Rivenall. Ooh, StarCraft. The Witcher Wild Hunt. Look at all these games that NVIDIA helped develop. Helped. Yeah. Battlefield B. Everyone loves that game. Overwatch. RTX demos. Oh, Fortnite bus. Minecraft. Wasn't Wolfenstein Youngblood a uh, AMD title? Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> I hope all of you are staying safe. I have a graphics card ready for my GPU fridge. Today. Modern GPUs are technology marvels. It is the engine of large industries from design, cloud AI, to scientific computing. But it is the gamers and their insatiable demand that is the driving force of the GPU. Pulling their GPUs to create the largest distributed computer ever. A million gamers united to counter-strike the COVID-19 coronavirus. The result was 2.8 exaflops. Five times the processing power of the world's largest supercomputer to simulate the virus. Folding at home was able to simulate 100 milliseconds, a tenth of a second in the life of the coronavirus, and capture the moment it opens its mouth to infect a human cell. Scientists believe this is also its moment of weakness. Thank you all for joining this historic fight. We're going to talk about computer graphics and the work we're doing to push the boundaries. He's going to take a we uh, love graphics, graphics card out of an air fryer. And have advanced it incredibly in the time of NVIDIA. As the technology advanced, the expressiveness of the medium has made graphics an invaluable tool to help us understand our world, create and explore new worlds, tell stories that inspire us. From science to industry to, to the Boba arts, Fett. computer graphics has made a profound impact on the world. And for that, we are privileged to have contributed. We're gonna talk about gaming and the infinite ways that gaming is expanding. GeForce PC gaming is large and thriving. It's oh, open ninja, and rapidly man. advancing technology combined with the amazing creativity of the community makes magic. Anyone could be a broadcaster now. Add a GeForce and you have a personal just broadcast in. station. Pros stream their practices. Experts stream tips and tricks. Friends stream to friends just to hang out. There are over 20 million streamers. Games have become a new art medium. In Minecraft, gamers can build their work of art. Machinima artists create cinematics made from game assets. Tens of millions are using games to express their creativity. Inside a computer simulation, any sport can become eSport. Virtual NASCAR and F1 are already attracting top racers. Like sports, eSports captures the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat and the human drama of athletic competition. eSports is on its way to be the biggest sport. I have something special for all the GeForce gamers around the world. Four gifts. I hope you like them and you'll find new ways to game. First, big news. Not even really Fortnite live. Fortnite is turning RTX on. Fortnite! Now Minecraft and Fortnite, Woo! the number one and number two most played Finally. games in the world, have Fucking RTX dab. on. Fortnite will get ray trace shadows, reflections, ambient occlusion, and DLSS 2. These effects 
look fantastic with the art style of Fortnite. I can't wait to see a Fortnite concert with RTX on. The new the last one with Travis Scott just released, was watched by 28 uh, million Thor people. In it and his Epic Bifrost made a trailer for you. Let's play it Tanks now. Tanks 2080 at 1440p down to 30 frames a second when it's on. So I wonder what they're doing with this. Look at that. You can drive cars in Fortnite now. You can get some water reflections. Woo! 75% of GeForce gamers play esports. Esports is a game of milliseconds. Reaction time is a combination of the gamer and the machine. Let me explain. This is Valorant. In this example, the opponent is traveling at 1500 like hacks pixels on. per second. Hey, Jensen? And it's visible in this opening for only 180 milliseconds. Maybe you should stop hacking. A typical gamer has a reaction time of 150 milliseconds from photon to action. You can only hit this opponent if your PC adds Nicholas less than Mooney. 30 milliseconds. Most gamers have latencies Thanks, far YouTube. greater than 30 milliseconds, many up to 100 milliseconds. Today, we're announcing a new esports technology called NVIDIA Reflex. That's all NVIDIA we need Reflex more optimizes the rendering pipeline across CPU and GPU to reduce latency by up to 50%. In September, we're releasing Reflex with our game radio. same driver. thing that was on Over 100 million GeForce Radeon's gamers last, uh, will instantly update, become more right? competitive. Valorant, Fortnite, Apex Legends, -like. Call of Duty Warzone, and Destiny 2 will be the first to integrate Reflex technology. Esports pros and enthusiasts strive for zero latency. For you, we're announcing an insanely fast and beautiful display, a 360 hertz G-Sync display designed for esports. This display has a built-in precision latency analyzer. Just connect your mouse. The NVIDIA 360 hertz G-Sync esports displays are arriving this fall from Acer, Alienware, Asus, and MSI. Ooh. We've made a video comparing gaming on a 60 hertz, 144 hertz, and 360 hertz display. They're, look at that person farting. You can farting see immediately how motion. 360 hertz display will help you target and track an opponent. For the 20 million out. live streamers, we have something <laughs> really cool for you. NVIDIA Broadcast turns any room into a broadcast studio. NVIDIA Broadcast runs AI algorithms trained by deep learning on NVIDIA's DGX supercomputer one of the most powerful in the world. Effects like audio noise removal, virtual background effects, whether graphics or video, and webcam auto framing this is, is a virtual camera person tracking you. These is, uh, AI good. effects are amazing. Available for download in September and runs on any RTX GPU. Brandon and GeForce Marketing will now show you NVIDIA Broadcast. Hey everybody, I'm Brandon and I'm very excited today to talk to you about our NVIDIA Broadcast app. Like many of you, I've been home a lot more lately. I've been video conferencing all day and then gaming and streaming all night. And I have a very basic webcam microphone setup. NVIDIA Broadcast makes these things. Super I was wondering cool. when awesome some features, like really NVIDIA or like AI the drivers were gonna start including uh, OBS I want to talk about style support. Because GeForce Now is pretty good. And that distracting sound makes oh, it very hard to understand what I'm saying. But Show when us. I turn on noise removal <laughs> in NVIDIA Broadcast, you find that it's completely gone and that, that, that blow dryer is still going but nvidia Ooh. broadcast isn't just awesome audio features there's some really exciting video features as well let's take a look first up we have the ability to blur your background which you may notice that i need because i have a very cluttered and messy room i was gonna make mention but when i turn this background blur feature room. on all of a sudden i get this really classy effect and i can adjust the strength of that from low to high and everything in between most webcam or if i want software built in but i okay. can replace the background altogether Maybe they're AI. Ooh, it's a fishy. It's space. He's now I'm in a space station with the magic of AI. <laughs> it's that easy. I want or RTX if I want to jump into some gameplay, I can remove the background altogether and jump into some Valorant. And now I'm playing with a green screen effect without actually having to have one at home. I don't have to play good, it's but at least sweet. I can look good. Now, sometimes when I'm video conferencing or doing a just chatting stream, I want to zoom in to get a more personal connection with the audience. But the problem is I bounce around so much. I bounce around it's easy so much. my head to get out of frame. With the auto frame feature, it's like having your own personal cameraman that follows you wherever you go. So if, for example, I wanted to reach over and grab my cool Valorant hat and show it to everybody, it follows me every step of the way. You need a pretty good I just find NVIDIA broadcast to be really exciting as both a streamer and as someone who works from home. The ability to remove distracting noise, improve your background, and keep yourself in the center of the frame are all awesome features in one app, and I just can't wait for you guys to try it.
A new form of art has emerged from gaming called machinima. Artists are using game assets to create cinematics. There has been tens of billions of views on YouTube. Most are shorts. Some are even recreating entire classic movies. It's becoming a whole new art genre. Today, I'm going to show you an app that will make these cinematics amazing. It's called NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. It's an app built on our Omniverse 3D workflow collaboration platform. Omniverse is a universal design tool asset exchange with a viewer based on photorealistic path tracing. The engine is designed to be physically accurate, simulating light, physics, material, and artificial intelligence. We have connectors for most third-party design tools, like 3ds Max, Maya, Photoshop, Epic Unreal, Rhino, and many more. The Machinima app brings in elements and assets from games and third-party collections like TurboSquid and lets you mix and compose them oh, into yeah, a Turbo cinematic. Squid. Creators can use their webcam to drive our <laughs> AI-based post estimator to animate characters. Ah, that's drive how they think animation AI landing. with your voice. Add high fidelity physics like particles and fluids. Make materials physically accurate. And then when done with your composition and mixing, render film quality cinematics with your RTX GPU. NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima. Beta in October. Sign up at nvidia.com slash machinima. Let me show you a demo we created in a few days. Uh, we started with assets from Mountain Blade 2, Banner Lord. You're gonna love this. Oh, I'm gonna love it. Any of you guys making uh, Fortnite movies or uh, Assassin's Creed movies with your computer and your video games out there? I know that my kid watches some of them. Whoa! The Can It Run Crisis. The Can It Run Flight Simulator. Oh, that's close. You guys are getting better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bang, bang and lowered. For 40 years, since NVIDIA researcher Turner Witted first published his paper on ray tracing, Computer science researchers have chased this dream to create super realistic virtual worlds with real-time ray tracing. NVIDIA, seeing the ultimate limits of rasterization approaching, focused intense efforts over the Is past 10 the years to realize real-time ray tracing on a large scale. <laughs> At SIGGRAPH two years ago, we announced the NVIDIA RTX. Now, two years later, it is clear we have reinvented years, computer eh? graphics. NVIDIA oh, RTX is, so is a full-stack invention. RTX starts with a brand new GPU architecture, but it is so much more. It includes new engine tech and a bunch of new rendering algorithms. RTX is a home run. All major 3D APIs have been extended for RTX. RTX is supported by all major 3D tools. RTX tech is incorporated into all major game engines. There are hundreds of games in development and thousands of research papers of new rendering and AI algorithms enabled by RTX. The RTX GPU has three fundamental processors. The programmable shader that we first introduced over 15 years ago, RT core to accelerate the ray triangle and ray bounding box intersections, and AI processing pipeline called TensorCore. TensorCore accelerates linear algebra. You're gonna explain ray tracing deep neural network processing, the foundation of modern AI. AI is the most powerful technology force of our time. Computers that learn from data and write software that no humans can. The advances are nothing short of breathtaking. NVIDIA is doing Can't groundbreaking wait till work Skynet in this area. Puts RTX you might have seen our life work in self-driving cars over me. and robotics. Computer graphics and gaming will also be revolutionized by deep learning. Let me show you some recent works and the art of the possible. The first video is a generative adversarial network that has learned to synthesize virtual characters of any artistic genre, including photorealistic. Second is a neural network <laughs> that animates a 3D face directly from voice. You require more Vespine gas. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. The AI character can speak in any language, be any gender, and even rap and sing. Ooh. Third is a character locomotion of rap infinite and number sing. of positions. Imagine negotiating arbitrary paths and obstacles. The fourth is reconstructing 3D from video. Imagine the possibilities. Record Ooh. video, can interact in 3D. This one is a deep learning model that learned the physics behavior of cloth animation. 
Finally, this deep learning model of ray tracing can predict colors of missing pixels, so that fewer rays need to be cast and fewer pixels need to be fully rendered. We can achieve orders of magnitude speed ups. That's the um, AI Nvidia is starting factory. to play a giant role in the future of computer graphics and gaming. The powerful tensor cores and RTX GPUs will let us do AI in real time. One of the first major AI computer graphics breakthroughs is DLSS. Here's the challenge. Real-time ray tracing is far more beautiful but requires a lot more computation per pixel than rasterization. So the solution is to ray trace fewer pixels and use AI on tensor cores to up-res, to super-res, to a higher resolution and boost frame rate. DLSS took nearly two years of intensive research. We built a supercomputer to train the network. The DLSS model is trained on extremely high quality, 16K, offline rendered images of many kinds of content. Once trained, the model is downloaded into your driver. At runtime, DLSS 2.0 takes in low resolution, aliased image and motion vector of the current frame and the high resolution previous frame to generate a high resolution current frame. Okay, I think is DLSS out, is one of our biggest breakthroughs in the last 10 years. Take a look at these images of Death Stranding, the latest game by Kojima-san. DLSS is sharper than native 4K and created detail from AI that native rendering didn't even show. Really? And the frame rate is higher. Reviewers have loved DLSS 2.0. They it's say its good. quality beats out native rendering and runs even faster. You can play at 4K without a performance hit. Tensor Core effectively gives RTX a 2x performance boost. Let's look at one frame trace of a game to see the processors of RTX in action. Adding ray tracing to games dramatically increases the computation workload. Using shaders to do ray traversal and object intersection reduces well, the frame like rate. Blood has we added the RT Core, which reduces that. shader workload by 60%. RT Core offloads the shaders by doing the ray triangle and ray bounding box intersection calculations. Using the same methodology as Microsoft Xbox, the RT Core is effectively a 34 teraflop shader, and Turing has an equivalent of 45 teraflops while ray tracing. Even with RT Core, the amount of time consumed is significant. So RT Core and shaders have to run concurrently. Even then, 20 milliseconds is only 50 frames per second, and still a step back in performance relative to previous generations. Hmm. This is where the Tensor Core and DLSS come in. Rendering to a lower resolution, then using AI and super fast tensor core to effectively double frame rate. Now you can get ray tracing, get high resolution and high frame rate at the same time. That's the magic of the three processors of RTX. Turing was our first generation RTX GPU, combining ray tracing, programmable shading and AI. The flagship Turing had a ton of processing power, 11 shader teraflops, 34 RT teraflops, and 89 Tensor Teraflops. Let me show you our new RTX GPU. Ampere is a giant leap in performance. It Ampere does be. two shader calculations per clock versus one on Turing. 30 shader teraflops Whoa. compared to 11. There'll be so many rectangles Ampere doubles with ray arrows between intersection them? Throughput. <gasps> you Ampere's can bounce RT so many more balls? 58 RT teraflops compared to Turing's 34. And Ampere's new tensor core automatically uh, I, I identifies and removes cubes. less important DNN weights. And the new yes, tensor core more cubes. process the sparse network at twice 2. the rate 2. of Turing. 2.7 times the cubes. 238 tensor flops compared to 89. Ladies and gentlemen, NVIDIA's new Ampere GPU, our second generation RTX, 28 billion transistors mm. built on Samsung 8N NVIDIA custom process. Interesting. All three processors Double rates over Turing, a triple double. It connects to Micron's new G6X, really, the fastest memories ever made. The days of just relying on transistor performance scaling is over. Was not expected. Yet that. Ampere is an incredible two times the performance and energy efficiency of Turing. At NVIDIA, we use every engineering lever to squeeze every drop of performance out of the system. Uh. From architecture, custom process design, circuit design, logic design, packaging, Custom series I.O., memory, power, and thermal design, PCB design, software, what is and that? algorithms. Fart air Thousands going over of the... engineers per generation. Billions of dollars. It's a really stinky car. Full stack right? engineering and extreme craftsmanship is the hallmark of our GPUs. Our performance, energy efficiency, and low power are all world class.
and real application performance highlights Ampere's new RT core. The more ray tracing is done, the greater the Ampere speedup. Ampere RT core doubles ray intersection processing. Its ray tracing is processed concurrently with shading. And Ampere can render cinematic images with motion blur eight times faster than Turing. Let's take a look at Ampere in action. At our Kitchen GTC a few months ago, we showed Marbles, the world's first fully path traced, photorealistic real-time graphics. It was running on our highest-end Turing Quadro RTX 8000. Turing was doing 720p, 25 frames per second. Okay. Today, we're gonna run an enhanced version of Marbles with even more special effects. And it is running at 1440p, 30 frames per second, over four times the performance. Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy Marbles at night. Okay. I saw in Youngblood that they're looking at 1.7 times the performance. There are hundreds of rigid bodies, 80 million triangles. Materials are physically accurate, physics simulation, volumetric rendering in real time. DLSS 2.0 is doing the super resolution and AI denoising. Mm. It's not really more than two times the performance. Look at the Jensen head back there. If DLSS is doing it, it's tricking it into being having that performance. Let's compare Marbles Turing and Marbles Ampere. You can see dramatic visual quality jump of Ampere. Marbles on Turing runs at 720p, 25 frames per second. Marbles on Ampere runs at 1440p, 30 frames per second. More than four times the performance. And Ampere even did area lights and depth of field a giant performance leap. Today's games are giant worlds, indoor and out, with photogrammetry, dense geometry, and lots of characters. So that's games why are over 200 uh, Cyberpunk's gigabytes been delayed. And getting bigger. This is like 50,000 songs or 400 hours of streaming video. Games have pushed PC, IO, and file systems to the breaking point. CPUs copy files from disk and decompress the game image. This is fine when the storage system was slow, 50 to 100 megabytes per second. Now with Gen 4 PCI Express and solid state drives, PCs can transfer data at seven gigabytes per second, if 100 times you're faster. you're running an AMD CPU. CPU copying data to memory and decompressing game images is now the bottleneck. Decompressing data from 100 megabytes per second hard drives takes only a few CPU cores. However, decompressing from seven gigabytes per second SSDs on PCIe Gen 4 takes over 20 CPU cores. Today, we're announcing NVIDIA RTX I.O. with three new advances. New I.O. APIs for fast loading and streaming directly from SSD to GPU memory. GPU lossless decompression. And collaboration with Microsoft on direct storage for Windows that streamlines the transfer of data from storage to GPU memory. With NVIDIA RTX I.O., vast worlds will load instantly. Picking up where you left off will be instant. This is a very big Essentially, deal Essentially, this is like PS5. Game. Let me show you Ampere in action in one of the most anticipated games of 2020. Stealing, but CD Projekt Red Cyberpunk. This trailer is called Scenes of Cyberpunk RTX. It shows ray trace reflections, diffuse illumination, shadows, ambient occlusion, and DLSS 2.0. Enjoy. Oh, I'm ready, baby. I'm so psyched for this game. Can't wait for Keanu Reeves to be in my head. That's pretty sick. Shadows and ambient diffusion. No 
November 19th. Ladies and gentlemen, our new flagship GPU, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, powered by Ampere, second generation RTX architecture. Really? So it's not a 3090? Whoa, that's a great card, man. Oh, wow, 690. 28 billion transistors. World's fastest graphics memory. 3rd gen tensor core. Structural, sparsity, and DLSS. Whoa. 3080. Oh, there are heat pipes in it. So weird. Dual axial flow through 55% more airflow. I was right with this too. Independent push pull fans. I said that in my original and saying how it's just gonna blast heat on your CPU cooler. That's kind of a stupid idea, but. Look, humongous. Ultimate play. The NVIDIA RTX 3080. I have one right here. Let me show it to you. It's in the oven, isn't it? Oh, for fucks. Oh, it's behind the spatulas. Why do you need so many spatulas? It is beautiful. That's not that big. Look at this. The RTX 3080. It Whoa. is wonderfully crafted. It's going to look beautiful in your PC. And it lights up. <laughs> And now let me tell up. you about some of the other exciting technologies inside. Turing used G6, the fastest memories at that time. The industry thought that was the limit. For Ampere, we had to push through that limit. Working with Micron, we designed the world's first memories with PAM4 signaling, pulse amplitude modulation, with four voltage levels that encode two bits of data each, 00011011. Each voltage step is Bad only thing. 250 millivolts. So in the same period of time, G6X can transmit twice as much data as G6. PAM4 really? is extreme signaling technology, and it's just becoming used in high-speed networking. The Ampere thermal architecture is the first ever flow-through design, working harmoniously with PC chassis cooling system. Blowing air, pulling in hot cool air, air right outside, over your CPU. Flowing through the GPU <laughs> and pushing hot air straight out the chassis. To allow room for a fan to flow air directly through the module, our engineers architect a super dense PCB design that is 50% smaller than previous while adding the bigger Ampere GPUs, HDMI 2.1, PCI Express 4.0, and That's G6X. What I'm looking forward to. There HDMI are two independently controlled fans. The bracket front fan pulls cool air from the bottom and pushes the heated air out through the graphics card brackets. A backside pull through fan passes cool air over the fins of the heat pipe and directs the hot air to the top and back of the chassis to be exhausted by the system fan. Huh. The 3080 flow through system is three times quieter and keeps the GPU 20 degrees cooler than the Turing design. Really? It can cool 90 watts more than Turing. The generational leap is ultimately the most important factor of new GPUs. A significant technology advance is needed to inspire content developers to create the next level of content and for the install base to upgrade. Let's see how the 3080 stacks up the previous generation architectures on the latest graphics and 1400. Games. Look at 3080 is 1400 faster than 2080 on the Ti. Thing. 3080 is twice the performance of 2080 at the same price. So 3080 is going to be Ampere is the biggest generational leap bucks? we've ever had. Ladies and gentlemen, 
NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3080, our new flagship GPU, powered by Ampere, our second generation RTX GPU architecture. Incredible amounts of processing in the shader, RT ray tracing core, and Tensor Core for processing AI. 10 gigabytes of G6X, really? twice the processing power of 2080, and at the same price, starting at 699. Okay. Available September 17th. Okay. One of our most popular GPUs is the 70 series. 970, 1070, 2070 were all hugely popular. You're gonna love the new RTX 3070. Faster than the 2080 Ti, the Turing Enthusiast GPU priced at $1,200. Did he say faster than the 2080 Ladies and gentlemen, Ti? the new GeForce RTX 3070. Let me show it to you. What is it behind the fucking it's a pepper cracker? Oh, okay. 20 shader teraflops, 40 RT teraflops, and 163 teraflops tensor core for AI processing with eight gigabytes of G6, RTX 3070 is faster than the $1,200 RTX 2080 Ti, starting at $499, available in October. Every generation, we pack in our best ideas to increase performance while introducing new features. He did say that the 3070 was faster than the 2080 Ti, right? You heard that? That's bananas. Pascal was known as the perfect 10. Pascal was a huge success and set a very high bar. It took the super family of Turing to meaningfully exceed Pascal on game performances without ray tracing. Well, I'm glad that you're with ray tracing turned on. Pascal, using programmable shaders to compute ray triangle intersections, fell far behind Turing's RT core. And Turing with ray tracing on reached the same performance as Pascal with ray tracing off. On a technical basis, this was a huge achievement. The images are far more beautiful and reflection and shadow artifacts are gone. But gamers want it more. They want every Thanks, generation to be more realistic and that. higher frame rate at the same time. So we double down on everything. Twice the shader, twice the ray tracing, and twice 4K. the tensor core, the triple double. Ampere knocks the daylights out of Pascal on ray tracing. With RTX and on. even with ray tracing on, crushes Pascal on frame rate. Notice to how they got rid of the uh, 20 series It in is that safe to upgrade now. Amazing ray tracing games are coming. Activision and developer Treyarch yes. are launching a new Call of Duty on November 13th. We will 13th. play Cold War. It's a masterpiece. And I will incredible. definitely not throw Their military lights, bombs at you. Ray tracing, shadows and ambient occlusion, DLSS 2.0. What's that? And NVIDIA Reflex super low latency technology. The last Call of Duty sold an amazing 30 million copies. Activision put together this trailer of never before seen footage. Enjoy. Ooh. This looks interesting. I gotta say, not the announcement I thought it was gonna be, but I guess Nvidia never shows all their cards. Guaranteed there'll be a 3090 soon, probably by the end of the year. And then 3080 Ti with the same technology, but less RAM and a little bit less whatever early next year or as soon as Big Navi launches. I mean, it looks pretty sweet. Call of Duty's known for pretty fucking good graphics. Whoa! November 13th, huh? Let me talk to you about one cool. more thing. Several years ago, we started building the Titan, pushing the <laughs> GPU to the absolute limit. Here we go. To create the best graphics card of that generation. It was built in limited quantities only through NVIDIA. The distribution was limited. The demand surprised us. Creatives were making 4K movies, rendering cinematics. Researchers built workstations for data science and AI. Bloggers built broadcast workstations Flight and racing simulation fans built sim rigs. There is clearly a need for a giant GPU that is available all over the world. Woo! So we made a giant Ampere. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the RTX 3090. Wow. Well, I was wrong. Come here. You've got to fucking put it in the oven, Jesus. Come here, Papa. Oh my God, look how big it is. Alrighty. 3090 is a beast. A ferocious GPU. Jesus. A BF GPU. 
36 shader a big teraflops, fucking GPU. 69 <laughs> RT teraflops, 285 Jesus. tensor teraflops, and it comes with a massive 24 gigabytes of G6X. Oh my goodness. 1500 bucks. It comes with a silencer, a three slot dual axle flow through design, 10 times quieter and keeps the GPU 30 degrees cooler than the Titan RTX design. But there's more. The 3090 is so big. 8K! For the very first time, we can play games at 60 frames per second in 8K. This is what? insane. Because it's impossible for us to show you what it looks like on the stream, we invited some friends to check it out. Roll the clip. Who's the friends? August 20th, we invited four streamers. <laughs> Put your mask on. Ooh. I have an 8 key TV, by the way. I've I'm never been more excited to interested. do anything. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No. I'm sure they were really this is that into it. Dude. This is amazing. Oh, the resolution on this is silly. My god. You can see wear and tear on the treads. Look at this. Why is it so decent? You get really excited when NVIDIA right, right, right. pays for your flight to go and play some video games. Everything. This is not authentic. I'd love to have seen some FPS numbers on the screen. AMD's good for that. NVIDIA, not so much. You gotta wait till the viewers get the cards in. Ray tracing is insane on this. These are the sizzle reels that you see. This is basically hacks. And then it's like, it'll never look like that. But it does. $1,500. <laughs> I'm like looking across. Imagine how much the money it's going to cost me to buy that fucking right graphics card in Canada. Look at this. I'm going to have to pay like $2,500 for it. Oh, it I'll guarantee so that's what I end up paying for it. Oh, it's smooth as shit. Probably not going to get it. I can't believe it's not fun. I mean, this is game changing. There's no other Makes way, way more sense to wait for the 3080 Ti, which is the same card with My 12 gigs of VRAM or 14 or something. It's been 20 years since the NVIDIA GPU introduced programmable shading. The GPU revolutionized modern computer graphics. Developers shut down and invented is. clever algorithms, like shaders that simulate realistic materials, or post-processing effects for soft shadows, ambient occlusion, and reflections. Developers pushed the limits of rasterization beyond anyone's expectations. Meanwhile, NVIDIA GPU processing increased a stunning 100,000-fold Gaming became a powerful technology driver. Gamers grew to billions, and gaming pushed into all aspects of entertainment and culture. If the last 20 years was amazing, it's really nice the next to see 20 talking about gamers will seem nothing one. short of science fiction. Today's Ampere launch is a giant step into the future. This is our greatest generational leap ever. The second generation NVIDIA RTX, fusing programmable shading Ray tracing and artificial intelligence gives us photorealistic graphics and the highest frame rates at the same time. Once the holy grail of computer graphics, ray tracing is now the standard. And, the and Ampere is going to bring you joy beyond gaming. Yeah. NVIDIA yeah. Reflex to improve your response time. NVIDIA Broadcast hear, turns uh, any room into a studio. Rust, and Omniverse Machinima turns you into an animated filmmaker. We are super pleased with 3070, 3080, and 3090 the first three members of the Ampere generation. You're gonna feel a boost like never before. I can't wait to go forward 20 years to see what RTX started. Homes will have holodecks. We will beam <laughs> ourselves through time and space, traveling at the speed of light, sending photons, not atoms. Oh man, this future, so many Star Trek words. G-Force is your holodeck, your light speed starship, your time machine. In this future, we will look back and realize that it started here. I want him to make Thank me you for a joining turkey us today. in that and to uh, all of our fans replicator he's got behind him that stove. It seems to make graphics cards all the time. Is that it for the stream? And it's done. Ooh, that was all kinds of fun. That was all kinds of fun. Here, this is what we're talking about right here. There we go. So, did you guys have fun? Uh, I was, uh, st he pulled Elisa Sue and he did the whole best for last thing. Uh, I don't think he's done that before. And they totally could have had another event and made some deal with the 3090. I'm glad they announced it today. But I will absolutely guarantee that there will be a 30, 
80 Ti that comes out within six months, as soon as Big Navi comes out, that is 9.99 or 11.99, something like that. So buying the 3090 would be a stupid idea at launch. Uh, but then again, the way pricing and stuff is right now, it's not like it's going to get any cheaper. So if you want to jump on the, the bandwagon, I'll have to literally remortgage my house to buy that graphics card. And uh, I have no one sending me, I've never been sent an NVIDIA GPU. No, I've been sent one and I had to send it back. MSI did send, I should maybe email MSI, see if they'd provide one. But uh, anyways, Fortnite 8K with RTX. That's what I'm talking about. So what are you guys saying all about? Um, I'm getting hungry uh, and I'm going to use my um, microwave back here. See, I have a microwave. It's right there. Boop. To eat up some food and eat. But uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this with me. Like tw 12, 1914 concurrent viewers. That's absolutely crazy. And uh, I got some super chats. Thanks for all the people that uh, gave the super chats. I'm like, as far as my take on this, it's definitely nice to see such a big performance increase in theory, according to NVIDIA. I really hope it actually does push those limits. Um, if you think about, you never, they never talked to TDPs or anything like that, but uh, I would like to see 3090 specs. I guess we'll have to wait. I think it said the 17th or something like that is when they're launching. Um, I'm sure we'll see reviewers and stuff like that with uh, unboxings a couple days before that. Maybe more details will leak. Uh, but as far as, you know, what the TDP of this 3090 was supposed to be like 500 watts, that's, it, there's no way it's that much, but it's definitely with the cooler that's on that thing. It looks bananas. And um, usually NVIDIA seems to have like their next plot in the timeline already in the works. My chair broke. Um, so like for them to be at this bleeding edge might mean that they have some real information on what um, AMD is doing. And maybe there is a really good big Navi card coming out soon. But the fact that this rolled out and there's no set date for any big any amd gpus coming out that's like really disappointing i find navi to be pretty disappointing on the whole um i used all the navi cards and they're they come with a set of problems especially on older hardware uh that the average person that goes to amd that is usually like a more budget conscious person they end up having to deal with like driver issues and like black screens and random crashes. And I haven't been a fan of it. So I really hope that the, you know, AMD does come back to the table. It's with like not a half baked product, something that's ready to go and actually take NVIDIA on because they're always so far behind. I don't know we need the, the competition here, but um, I don't know. If that 3080 is actually as good as he's saying at the price point it's at, that seems, if it's twice as fast, he said, as the 2080, like, or, or even the 2070 was faster than a 2080 Ti, that's going to be pretty damn interesting stuff. So I love all you guys in the chats. Um, and Jensen was beautiful as always. And uh, he's sure going to sell us this fucking car right here. Slaps roof of RTX. This bad boy can fit so much fucking reflections in it. <laughs> I don't know. Blastoise. There we go. These are the memes we were reviewing before the stream. We got RTX off. Boobs. RTX on. Cardboard boobs. <laughs> you can't have a GPU shortage if no one can afford them. Anyways, there we am. Oh, you guys couldn't even see that. I'm fucking stupid. <laughs> Just to run through the memes one more time. Do, 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 do. There you go. This one's the best one. Blastoise. All right, I gotta go. Love you guys. Uh, I'll be back uh, Thursday with a video on um, this this piece of junk. When the motherboard box looks like that, you know it's good. Um, so I love you guys. Keep it sleazy. All that good stuff. I'm gonna go work on my video. I'll talk to you soon. Six cores, 12 threads, eight bucks. It's happening. Thursday. See you later.